So a job seeker asks, why would HR deny someone a job? It's very seldom that this happens, um, that HR recommends a candidate not be hired. They typically make a recommendation on based on law, company policy, and or their organization's standard practices. Um, because employers might occasionally have to rescind a job offer, many employers have adopted the standard practice of having the recruiter, not the hiring manager, to extend the verbal contingent job offer to the candidate. So today, we'll explore reasons why human resources may sometimes recommend that a manager not hire a particular candidate. First, you may wonder what a verbal contingent offer is. The verbal contingent offer is the initial offer that's made to the selected candidate. It's typically verbal. That means that no offer letter has been done yet. And that way, if the candidate makes a counter offer for a higher salary or some other changes in the specific conditions of employment, then the offer letter can be, be done after everything is settled. And the initial offer becoming final is typically also contingent upon the successful completion of a pre-employment background check and other requirements. So the top potential reasons for a non-hire recommendation from human resources may be that the candidate worked for the employer in the past and left on unfavorable terms. The specific circumstances surrounding the candidate's previous departure will determine if they're eligible for rehire or not. Next, the candidate may not meet the minimum qualifications for the position, and this can easily be especially problematic if other more qualified candidates were passed over for the job. Next, a former employer may have given an unofficial reference. Remember, the work world is much smaller than many of us think it is. So hiring managers might get an what we call unofficial reference from someone who they know at your current or past employer. Then the candidate may have exhibited behavior inconsistent with the new employer's culture. For example, during an interview, my manager and I asked a candidate what type of manager she preferred to work for. She proceeded to tell us directly that she preferred to work for a manager who was the same race as her. I guess she thought that it was okay for her to tell us that since we fit that bill as well. But she was wrong and she received no further consideration for the position. Then, last but not least, human resources may have become aware of some unfavorable social media activity that the candidate engaged in. Yes, many employers these days do check the candidate's social media activity. Think about it. What you post on social media is likely your authentic self, since most of us consider, consider our social media presence to be our right to personal expression. My advice is to think before you or anyone else posts on your behalf. It could cost you your current job and or future job offers. So in conclusion, I recommend that you wait until you have your official offer letter in hand before you submit your resignation notice to your current employer. Wait until it's official. As you know, my mission is to help each of you live your best career life. So, I hope that you found today's post helpful and informative. And if you did, please like it, regardless of where you're um, viewing. Like it, share it, comment on it, leave me an HR question or subscribe to my channel if you're watching on YouTube or another platform, or to my blog, HR by Namtique. I would love to hear from you, and I wish you, as always, career search 
success, go get your new job.